this is the vehicle that I'm in. I'm gonna start doing these because I have people who are guessing the wrong vehicle time after time and it's kind of funny but this is what I'm doing this video in. This is something that has been happening for ever, forever. And let me go ahead and start at the beginning. I had someone who wanted to disagree with my lengthy pointing out salient facts. And I asked him one simple question. Um, are you a drop shipper? And he said, no. I run ads for a drop shipper. And one of the things I found to be very interesting with this um, is the number of people who will come for me based upon limited information. Let me go ahead and give you my information. I've been selling stuff online for 20 years. I've sold books, I've sold furniture, I've sold collectibles, I've sold knickknacks, I've sold a variety of things online for 20 years, had my own e-commerce business. So when I put up a video talking about drop shipping or something, it's not me just poking a little fun at it. It's me relying on years and years and years and years of experience to tell you my thought process. And this person, I, like once again, I've learned. Number one, are you a drop shipper? Simple question, right? No, I'm not. Okay. We could literally go on, and I've done this before in the past. We can literally drop information in the chat box all day long all day long and it got me to thinking what is up with these people who are not in the industry who don't have a proper frame of reference why is it that these people want to debate um why is it these people want to have this conversation? Because they're not in the business, they have nothing to say. And it got me to thinking. It got me to really, really start thinking. Why are these people so fantastical about their point of view, even though they are not in the industry online one of the things and this is something that i have literally seen on a bunch of videos i don't know it's like making money is this something 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 i've literally seen this same statement posted across many financial videos and i'm like why why would you post that on your YouTube channel and it, it, it totally erased it well first of all you gotta understand these people are operating from a very different point of view they're not operating from relevant facts that 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 doesn't matter doesn't matter the truth facts and all this other stuff it doesn't matter so these people are operating on an internet arc they want to be right on the internet regardless of the fact that their life may be in total shambles in other areas i want i know that sounds a little crazy to say but stick with me these people want to have an internet conversation where they can put out a comment, they can appear to be right, and typically 
maybe get more engagement from other internet people and once again this whole thing doesn't have to operate on the truth forget the truth let's just take the truth take the truth pick it up and put it over there we're not worried about the truth we're worried about operating on this internet doctrine making money online in theory because here's something else <laughs> I went through a bunch of videos that were talking about how to make money online how to make money online and I, I literally went through dozens of videos and I went all the way down the, the, the page I did not find one comment that said hey thank you for putting this information up I started a few months ago and it, I, I, I'm not finding any evidence, any proof, any positive stuff about these internet people. I'm finding out, oh man, this is great. Thank you for putting out this free confirmation, this free information. Oh man, this is great. This is awesome. I'll be sure to subscribe. Number one. Remember years, you know, years and years ago, I gave away 19 free courses. Now, what happened with those 19 free courses? 95% of the people who took those courses did not open up the course. What do you think is happening with these people who are going to a free information source, trying to learn how to make money online for free, because they don't have no money, you still get that 95% failure rate. This is why you can literally, if you don't believe me, you can do it. Just find the video talking about how to make money and just literally go through the comments and you will not see one person who's actually doing whatever they claim to be doing. They're not doing it. You will not find one person doing it now not to say that no one does it I would say that 5% probably is like oh wow this is a great video let me go ahead and give it a try but after that 5% it's um, pretty much shambles it's pretty much not a real relevant thing it's not real it's not relevant and here is something else kind of going back to the people who want to be right in an internet domain um, one of the things that happens with these people who want to be right on these internet domains is from a social standpoint, these people are not well constructed. And what do I mean by that? They are not normal people. They don't have normal lives. They have such a high stake on being right on the internet because literally, literally, this person went ahead and started saying the same things that everyone else you don't know everything you just one person and once again what did I ask this person in the beginning do you drop ship no I don't this person doesn't even drop ship isn't even involved isn't even making money now here's something else too and I want you guys to really, really think about this. Let's say that this person was an advertiser for a drop shipper and they've been they've had this drop shipper as a customer for five years. Now, this is how if it was like really like this, like, well, you know, Glendon, uh, I've been a, an advertiser for this drop shipper for five years. We went through some challenges and this thing really works because they're doing this. That's not what happened. That's not what happened. It was like, well, we ran some ads and then we went to this, 
There was no depth. There was no clarification. It was just, well, we did this. And I wouldn't be shocked if the so-called dropshipper is out of business. Wouldn't be shocked. Now, this person is not going to tell us that. He's not going to bring that up because that strengthens my case and that makes his case much, much weaker. So we, we, we have that situation. But we, we have a lot of things that are going on in terms of the um, internet. And once again, these people online want to be right online. Once again, completely remove facts, truth, honesty. Remove that. We're, we're not going to deal with that. That is not part of the equation. That is not part of the situation. That is not relevant to this topic. Forget the truth. Truth doesn't matter. It matters is if I can come on someone's internet platform and say that they're wrong and get some agreement, then I've done my job. If I can get one person, one person to agree with me, then I've done my job which was to prove that this person was wrong, was was to prove that this person did not have uh, a good situation. And it, it's kind of crazy. It's kind of dramatic. It's kind of, uh, it's kind of really sad because here the thing is, when I'm putting this information out to do is to educate people to help people make more money to get people to a point where they are um, able to do things online and make money and go through the process of doing stuff online and being a winner that, that's my whole goal. My whole goal is to get people to the point where they become winners, where they, they can actually come online, make some money based upon the truth and doing things. But once again, and you know, thanks to the switch up, thanks to, I've gotten rid of a lot of those people, but I still have people who are just kind of hanging, hanging out just spending a little time just wanting that information just wanting that trigger of information so that they can come online drop a comment get some whoa boy you go boy you go boy congratulations boy now with that are there all drop shippers failures no i would say that probably less than eight percent of the people who try to do drop shipping and i'm going to talk about that in a minute all right so let's talk about those people who want to win right now there's a ton of people who are looking for legitimate, honest ways to make money online, right? But one of the biggest issues is all of this false information that <clears throat> you can start a business, you can start making a lot of money online right with no experience no background no training nothing and this is one of the things in my opinion that harms so many folks who are trying to make money online because number one the mindset like right now i am working on something and i've had two major failures 
and I continue to work on it. And that's one of the things that you as a business owner have to understand, have to acknowledge, have to be aware of is once you start, you're going to have bad outcomes. You're going to have situations where things are not going to go the way that you want, but because of so much false information that you can literally start a business and you can be making all this money in a matter of weeks, this is one of the things that keeps people out of the winning lane. Because once again, you know, going back to my situation, you have people who want to come to the YouTube channel to argue about certain things that are not relevant, that are not true, that are not factual. They want to argue, put their thought processes out and have us see, acknowledge, and give them some insight, wisdom, and traction on things that are not true, that are just not true. And one of the things that you guys have got to understand is you can make a lot of money online if you do the right things. Um, this is very possible. It's very doable, but you got to do the right things. And this right here is an issue for many, many people to do the right thing, to build the right business models to build. Because like, once again, you will not ever see any long-term information like, hey, my name is George. My drop shipping store is 10 years old. You're not seeing that. You're literally seeing people who get into drop shipping. Once again, drop shipping is a big YouTube draw. Drop shipping is a big part of the YouTube marketing system. Even though for most people, it's just simply not going to work. It's just simply not going to work because the average person doesn't have the capital needed to make money online. They just don't have these things in place. So one of the things that I am getting ready to do is to start talking about how you can win. Now, one of the things, and this is one of the reasons I reset the channel, you will not need millions of dollars, but you will need access to, I'm gonna say $2,000 to $10,000 to be able to win in this current online marketplace. That is, get your business started, start making some money. And once again, this is one of the reasons that I continue to tell you guys you need to keep your job. I mean, there's this whole thing. Um, I don't know what it is to hate a job. I, I can tell you what it is to not like a job. I can tell you that. But one of the things that I am unaware of is the number of people who have these jobs that they despise, that they hate. And we'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. But keep your job and build your business on the side. Keep your job and build your business on the side. Because in the beginning, all the money that your business makes needs to go back into the business. And if you're trying to build a business, trying to live off of it, make that that's just too much in the beginning stages. And what about the beginning stages? The beginning stages is gonna be one to three years that you're gonna to have to do this. And I know that sounds like an incredibly long, long time, but it's not, it's just not. And here's one of the things, like I've been paying for my own health insurance, my own, for years, so it, it doesn't bother me. But when you come out of a job, start a business, and you have to start paying for health insurance and your other stuff, 
it, it can shock you how much money this stuff costs. It can really, really shock you. Because like I said, I've been doing it for years. I'm used to it. I'm accustomed to it. But for the average person with a job, who has health insurance, who, who has certain benefits, I mean, these benefits, once you go on your own, become very, very expensive. They can become very, very pricey. And you, you need to be aware of that because one of the things that I consistently see is the number of people who have, once again, false information out here. Because here's the thing. Uh, everything cannot be winning information online. Everything cannot be great information. Everything cannot be designed to help you to win. It just simply can't. And we have many, many people who are in that thought process that if it's online, it should be helpful. It should be. Uh, and that's just kind of crazy to me when I sit down and think about it as an adult who has been in this online space for 20 plus years and one of the things that you guys have got to understand every time I do a video that talks about this thing will not work you will get someone like literally um, Bank of America I put up a video talking about Bank of America requires your tax refunds and I got turned down because I couldn't get them to them right and I had someone put up well, Bank of America gave me business credit without me submitting. And I know for a fact that that is 100% not true. But once again, let's go ahead and look at the 95% of people who do not take action. That's a huge, huge part of why these people can get away with the things that they say, the things that they do for a very long period of time because people are not actually taking action based upon reality. They're just not. So this is one of the reasons that you can see um, erroneous false information take over online because number one, the person who created it knows that there are people looking for this information. So whether the information is factual, false, or not, doesn't matter. People are looking for that information. And the content creator knows this. Number two, there are so many people that want things to be real, that want things to work out, that never had a chance of working out. Never had a chance, never would, uh, would actually be anything and you, you see it all over line because people are trying to win. People are trying to get to that next level. People are trying to stand up. And once again, uh, like I said, I'm just gonna go ahead and block this guy because <clears throat> I didn't respond to him, but he's watching the videos and I know he would drop a response here because he will not provide empirical, like once the thing, when I did the video talking about drop shipping, I went over and over and over stuff. I did not post a three or four word comment. I went deep into it to show you guys that this stuff doesn't work. But what this person will do is keep poking fun, keep dropping stuff, keep saying things, because here's something else too. And this is something I have seen. A lot of people who get into online marketing for other people, not their product, they don't stick with it. I've seen a number of people who used to do online advertising get out because they were tired of running ads and making all these other people money. So it's only a matter of time before he exits that business I wouldn't be surprised if he's on the verge of exiting in that business and that's why he watches his channel because everyone is looking for the best business to start with little regard, little framework, little consciousness of what the best business is for you. There's very little that goes into 
the proper framework, the proper situation, the proper knowledge of what you should do. Everyone thinks like, hey, what's the hottest business I can get into? What's hot? What's making money? Let me get into that, right? And uh, I'm here to tell you that is probably not going to be in your best interest because it's a new business, you're making money, but after a while, if it's something that you're not truly interested in, you're going to get tired of it. You're going to get um, fed up with it. So you're going to create a job that you hate. And one of the biggest issues with that is creating these jobs, these situations, these fellowships that you actually hate because you did not build a business based upon what you truly desire, what you truly need, what you truly want and need in your business. Because this is one of the reasons that I'm getting ready to go deeper into the truths of starting a business because like literally every kid in high school wants to start a drop shipping business and honestly that is one of the worst businesses you can ever get yourself involved in whether you're a high schooler a middle aged person it's one of the worst businesses that you can get yourself aligned with but because there are so many people who want to be part of the business world any shape fashion or form that they will go ahead and get into these businesses without an understanding of what's relevant, what's possible, what's necessary, what, what is involved in making these businesses successful and actually getting them started. There are many, many people who are just completely unaware of the true process that it takes to start a business. Like I said, uh, there's some new things I'm working on and I spent not a lot of money compared to the money I spent for the car rental business, but they didn't work. And I have an understanding because I, I told one guy when I bought one product that it's like, if this is work, I'll be back. But it doesn't look like I'm going to be back because I'm writing them because they gave me a bad product. The product doesn't work for what I need it to work. And this product was $10,000. So, once again, uh, I'm like, okay, that didn't work. Uh, I did another thing, that didn't work. So, one of the things, and this is why social media is so hot. Because if you can develop a small, you know, small social media following small is less than 10 10,000 people right but these 10,000 people love and adore what you're doing you can make seven figures you can make seven figures off 10,000 people so one of the things you have to understand and acknowledge is starting a business learning about a business and understanding all of these aspects of the business are very very important for you to be long-term successful they're very very important for you to be long-term successful for you to set up a business for you to actually do something make some money and create success for yourself create a level of success create a level of productivity and create profits for your business. And one of the reasons that I understand that false information does so well online is people want something that's simple, easy, not a lot of competition, doesn't take a lot of time. But for some reason, these people feel that they can make a tremendous amount of money from something that a grasshopper could do. Seriously, a grasshopper, a caterpillar, a beetle, or something like that. And it's just not factual. It's not normal. It's not relevant, right? It's just not part 
of the equation but because we have so many people who are looking for ways to make money we have so many people who are looking for ways to get in their next level so go ahead watch this video a few times and what I'm going to do is give away a brand new MacBook Pro at the end of March this will be the end of March and I will go ahead and tell you guys the things you need to do how you need to enter it how you need to set it up and the things that you need to do to be part of this opportunity I haven't quite worked it out that's why I've not put anything out exactly what you need to do but I'm going to be working on that so if you want to go ahead and get a piece of operating equipment that you can use to build your business to grow your business keep tapping in here on this channel keep paying attention keep watching the videos because we're going to do something very different in the year 2023 we're going to be making videos we're going to be having very deep discussions about business that you cannot find anywhere else on YouTube so just go ahead like the video make sure that you're subscribed and I will see you in the next episode of this channel